So if your computer doesn't have Wi-Fi, you're probably probably looking into getting a wireless adapter. I got the D-Link DWA137 and I'll say it's I'm still pretty satisfied, although this device is pretty heavily flawed and I'll talk more about why later. So let's start off with the stuff you get. You get a USB, you get a CD drive for drivers, a CD disc for drivers as well as a manual and that's about it. For accessories i've lost both of them so you're not going to get any footage whatsoever of those accessories inside also you get a detachable antenna as well as the wireless adapter itself which comes with a usb cap which i also misplaced so we are seeing a trend here um i'm not the most careful person ever the design then there really isn't much to it it's glossy plastic has a dealing logo on it which is ugly as all hell on the back there is a serial number kind of uh, logo thing and as well as a detachable replaceable antenna which is nice and uh, that's about it I guess so let's talk about using this device um, for a wireless adapter you would really hope it's plug and play because if you don't have a CD drive to install drivers um, and you don't have a Ethernet connection, there's no way you're going to connect to the internet with a D-Link DWA-137. See, that's the major flaw of this device. It needs drivers to work, but unless you have a CD drive, which I got, fortunately, or an, a pre-existing internet connection already, you're not going to be able to get it to work. So you have to go to the internet to download the drivers for this device for this to work. But if you don't have this, you can't go online to download the drivers. And it's kind of like a chicken and egg story. It's hilariously dumb dealing. Why must you do it this way? I, I can't expect all the companies in the world to pre-install the drivers in a chip in the device itself or maybe have a USB thumb drive that has the drivers but seriously this is a complete oversight CD drives are getting more and more obsolete no one's using them anymore except weird people and I had to go out and get a external USB uh, CD drive for my drivers to be installed of course you could install the drivers on the thumb drive from another computer and then install it on the desktop itself but that's unnecessary trouble for a device like for just uh, for just connecting to Wi-Fi seriously dealing think your products true okay anyway that's it for the rent let's talk about actual usage after I got it to work which was a bit of a hassle as I said I'm not gonna rent anymore it was pretty good. Uh, it connected to Wi-Fi really quickly. Uh, internet access was perfectly fine. I compared it to my laptop's wireless connection and it was pretty close in terms of performance. My laptop one's definitely faster because it's PCIe, proper Wi-Fi card from Intel, not this crap. But it's still pretty good. It performed really well and connected to the Wi-Fi very quickly, really easily. And I had no problems using it at all. Very nice, very functional, very useful. So, should you get a D-Link DWA-137? Before you decide, you've got to ask yourself the most important question. Do you have a CD drive in your computer or an external CD drive? If you do, you're in luck. Go ahead, get one of these. These are pretty good. If you don't, don't be... Don't bother. Get something else. Asus does pretty good uh, wireless adapters. Although this, is, although this is cheaper than the cheapest wireless adapter and performs pretty much as well. I won't say it's worth it because it's quite troublesome to set up unless you have a C CD drive already. Anyway, that's it for this review. I hope you guys found it interesting or helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. It's really sad, but whatever. Tell me in the comments why you did so, so I can improve my videos and share this video with someone who's looking for a wireless adapter. And uh, make sure you subscribe to see more tech videos and tech reviews like this one. And I'll see you next time. Bye.